So if the even coefficients are equal to zero, then the odd coefficient should not be zero in order to have the series maintain its shape, in order for the series to maintain itself. Otherwise, you will have no solution of the this equation. So I say that if a naught is zero, then this implies a one should never be zero. Clear? A one should never be zero. And let's say I take the value of alpha with this equal to zero. Because alpha is also possessing two values. What values? Alpha is either zero or one. Alpha zero value. So if I take this situation, then I will check this with alpha equal to zero and the same situation with alpha equal to one as well. Because those are both possibilities here. These are the two roots. So I can say that if this is the situation, then we are having another possible situation is if a naught is non-zero then this implies a one should be zero clear so you will have with alpha equal to zero And then there is another situation means this situation is with only value of alpha equal to zero. What if we take alpha equal to one means alpha is not only zero but alpha is equal to one as well. So what will happen if you take alpha equal to 1 then what will happen if alpha is equal to 1 here here is with is here look here if alpha is equal to 1 then what you will get here this one becomes 0 then a naught you will say that this is non-zero because this is making this one equal to zero the first term goes to zero so your whole term will get zero then a one will be non-zero otherwise the series will not maintain itself so it means that we are coming back to the same situation if we get alpha equal to 1 for alpha equal to 1 we will get the previous the previous solution which we are having already here so we say that we will only take the alpha equal to 0 situation because the alpha equal to 1 is getting us back to this situation. A naught will be 0, A naught will be non-zero, A 1 will be 0. So we will restrict ourselves to alpha taking alpha equal to 0. When alpha is equal to 0, we write A k plus 2 will become, put alpha equal to 0. So what it will be? It will be k a to k plus 1 minus l into l plus 1 divided by k plus 1 and k plus 2 and a k. Right? our recursion relation will actually reduce to this value. Now, what about the square value of x? 
Okay. Now start from A0, then you will get AK plus 2 means A2 in terms of A0. Similarly, A2 you will get in terms of A4. A2 is already in terms of this one. So we will get the whole series. Now what about this value that if I take the series because this story is done for the two terms. Now we come to the next terms. What will be the next terms? You will put k equal to 0. When k is equal to 0, then here you will get what? 0. And here alpha will be equal to 0. So it will be x power 0. And you will get only the coefficient. When k is equal to 1, right, then you will get all the odd terms. Means k will be equal to 1 here. And you will have this one is 0. So you will get x to the power 1. At the moment, I am not calculating the odd coefficients of this one. Why? Because I know that the series will give you either odd coefficients or even coefficients. Let's we restrict only ourselves to the even coefficients. So in the even coefficient, the first term which will come here will be x power 0. And x power 0 will be 1. So it means it will be just a coefficient and there will be no x level with it. When k will be equal to 2 because the next is coming k equal to 2 and alpha equal to 0. So the next coefficient will be means the first will be x0. So x0 means this will be only the coefficient. The next term that will come will be x2. Clear? The next term will come is x2. And then for x2, I can write that when x square will be equal to 1, okay, so our recursion relation is a k plus 2, and this is equal to k into k plus 1 and minus L into L plus 1 divided by K plus 1 into K plus 2 and this is AK. Now for we can show we can show that the series we can show that the series can diverge can diverge at x square equal to 1 then this implies that x will be equal to plus minus 1 how we can show this thing that our series is diverging when x square is equal to 1. Now look here. We will we will have to terminate the series. Okay. Now in this one we have only talk of the values of k. Let's say the very first value which will start now is a0 because a0 is non-zero. So k is equal to 0. When k become equal to 0 then this whole term become 0. Okay, let me let me write this thing that for k equals 0, then a2 
is equal to 0 minus L into L plus 1 divided by 2 and this is A naught. So this is equal to minus half L into L plus 1 and A naught means A2 is equal to the minus of A naught. Clear? Let me write that series back which will tell us about when A naught is non-zero then let me write all those here that A naught alpha into alpha minus 1 x to the power alpha minus 2 plus summation on k and k runs from 0 to infinity a k plus 2 and to k plus alpha plus 2 k plus alpha plus 1 minus a k and k plus alpha k plus alpha plus 1 minus l into l plus 1 and enclosed in x to the power k plus alpha should be equal to 0. This is a series. Means the sum of all these terms will be equal to 0. Clear? All the terms should add up to 0. Now look here. You got A2 in terms of A0. Now A0 is equal to minus half A12 plus 1 and times A0. So you cannot decide about the series that whether this series will converge means you will get zero unless and until you know the value of L and L plus one because this series will go on there are infinite number of terms then how you will come to know that your series is converging because your series at the moment is diverging infinite number of terms you will put the values and they will go on so for when x square is equal to 1 means when k is equal to 2 because for k equal to 0 and k equal to 1 we have uh, calculated that one k0 and 1 when k is equal to 2 then we are looking to our series means we are now finding out the third term in this series when k is equal to 2 then you will get a4 here what about here alpha is equal to 0 it is x power 2 okay so we will get x power 2 if this x power 2 is 1 then I can write that x square will be equal to plus minus 1 x will be equal to plus minus 1 and so on the other terms the third term the fourth term and the fifth term in this series and our series will go on we will have to terminate this series terminate the series at some point 
Now, how we will decide that point? How we will terminate this one? When we know these values, what are the values of L and what, what are the values of L? So, in order for it to terminate that we see, uh, let me write the comment as well, in order for in order for it to terminate in order for it to terminate L is determined L should be L is determined to be to be a positive integer L to be a positive integer or zero. Clear? In order for the series to terminate, because what we want, we want all this thing goes to zero. But the terms, we will decide the terms here. And when these terms, when, when we will know any value, then we will say that whether the series is going to zero or not. So what should be the L value? L is to be an integer, a positive integer. When L will become negative, then you see one negative is here. With this L, it will become positive. Then how it's possible that a2 plus a4 plus a5, they are adding up. So they are not going to zero. Right? Means the series is, yes? Sir, but there are two L. If uh, it is negative, then again another negative can make it a whole thing negative again. No, means I am just talking of the very first value. If L is negative, right, then here you are having another L. So this will be negative as well. But whatever here is, minus L plus 1. This L is making this thing positive, means this term, the term which will be coming, means your series is actually growing. You want your series to go to zero. Your coefficients should be individually zero, otherwise your series will not converge. So, L is to be a positive integer, the very first thing or this is to be zero. When L is equal to zero, then this whole thing will be equal to zero and it is solving your problem. But you will have no terms there. So L zero is one possible value, but what about the other values? So we have, we have this L to be a positive integer or this is to be zero. Then our series will converge. In order to avoid the uh, divergence of this, we will have to terminate this series. So let's say I am writing if A0 is non-zero, then it implies A1 is equal to zero. The series, the series terminates. The series terminates if L is even. Now you will have to think on this one. If A0 is equal to zero and A1 is non-zero, then the series terminates the series terminates if L is odd. Yes. 
Now it's up to you. Okay. Think on this one. Let us simplify means it is not that easy. A naught is non-zero. A1 is zero. When A1 is zero, A3 is zero, A5 is zero, A7 is zero, all the odd terms are zero. Clear? So we will have to focus only on the even terms like A naught like a2, a4, a6 and so on. Clear? Okay. Then the series will terminate. Means the series will end. When L will be even. If L is even, then the series will terminate. If we want to have all the even terms zero, then a1 will be equal to non-zero all the odd terms will be there and for the odd terms the series will terminate only if l will be odd so for odd for even terms l is supposed to be even and for odd terms odd coefficients l is supposed to be odd clear